Hello, good evening. Welcome to Ham Radio 2.0 live from the Ham Shack. This episode we're going to unbox and debut the Juntai JT6188 new uh, mini dual band radio. Uh, first heard about this radio maybe two weeks ago uh, on Facebook, no less. Uh, some guys from uh, one of the Chinese Ham Radio uh, Facebook groups had posted it and posted it with a link to Amazon. I don't sell these radios. My, my website is grapevineamateurradio.com. Uh, I sell quite a few different Chinese radios on there, but this one's not one of them. This one's brand new. Um, so I found it on Amazon and decided to test it out, and today we're going to look and see how it does. So this is the box for the Juntai radio. Uh, received it in the mail today. I didn't even know what it was. It's just a blank box. There's no markings on it whatsoever. Open it up and we see the content here. I actually are opening it up already and took the plastic. There's a plastic cover over the microphone. But uh, this is your microphone. Standard DTMF. RJ45 plug. <clears throat> this is the power cable. It comes with the cigarette lighter adapter on the end of it and a standard T-prong on the other end. So, of course, if you have the standard T-prong, it's uh, interchangeable with it. This right here, yeah, this, this cable, this wire is awfully thin. I'd say that's probably about 14 gauge right there. That surprised me. I thought it'd be uh, for, for pulling the wattage that it's supposed to pull. I thought it would be a thicker cable than that, but, <clears throat> and you got your mounting bracket. This is the radio. It's pretty small. If you're familiar with the Lyxen, uh VV898, it is, uh, it's about the same size as that radio. Let me shut the AC off right here real quick. That produces some noise in the background that I don't like. So anyway, that's the uh, that's the radio there. It's got a knob here. It's got knobs on it, unlike the uh, unlike the Lyxen. Um Nothing on the bottom. A semi decent heat sink on the top. We'll see later how the heat dissipates on that. An internal speaker. It has a place here for an external speaker hookup. Uh, the line coming out of the back, it has an inline fuse on the positive side and the standard T-connector on the back, but this, this thin wire is still present. Probably the, uh, I don't know, I, I'd question whether that, uh, whether that wiring would last. As, uh, you know, depending on how much, if you're one of these long talkers that ties up repeaters a lot, then you might, uh, or if you have really long FM simplex conversations, you might, uh, <laughs> you might burn up that wire, you never can tell. Alright, here we have the radio powered on. You've got your standard menus here. Transmit power is menu number three. It only has two settings, low and high. It does not go to 2.5 kilohertz. It goes 5, 6.25, 10, 12.5, 25, and back to 5. So it does not go to 2.5 kilohertz step. Squelch is auto set to 2. Go up to 9, it looks like. 2 is default, just going to leave it there. There's some other menus in here that. Uh, Pretty standard for most radios. It'll do uh, CTCSS and digital PL tones uh, most of the time. Most radios these days will do that. This priority channel. Uh, it'll do a different light on the LCD for standby, for receive, and for transmit. So you can, set, you can set all the lights to be the same color, or you can set the back lights to be different color depending on what. You can set a channel name here, alphanumeric. Uh, here's, your, here's your lights here. 
uh, WT LED I think is just standby I don't know what WT stands for uh, receive is blue so if we're receiving the signal the screen will go blue uh, transmit LED is orange so if I key up the radio it's gonna turn from they're calling this purple it's gonna turn from purple to orange when I key the radio so you can set that to uh, orange purple you can turn it off that's off right there or you can set it to blue uh, memory channels Looks like it's got 199, well, 200 if you count 000. It's got 200 memory channels in it. Goes from triple zero up to 199. Delete channel. This is your direction for your repeaters, your offset for your repeaters. Reset all. You can factory reset the radio from there. And goes back to the step. So it's your standard, uh, standard menus. Uh, nothing special. Nothing. Uh, nothing too fancy. It doesn't have the two tone or the five tone. Not that you really expected. It does not go to 2.5 kilohertz. I was disappointed about that. Not a big deal, I don't think. But uh, you know, some people want that for um, if they have a 2.5 kilohertz repeater near them. This mom button on the top. Somebody was talking on Facebook about that. <laughs> uh, somebody. My buddy Rod, KD5HQF, he was talking about that on Facebook. What does mom mean? Does that call your mom? <laughs> I think it's I think it's supposed to be Mon, M-O-N, um, Mike Oscar November. It says Mike Oscar Mike. But clearly it's a monitor button. So, Chinese lost in translation there. You got your call button. Uh, you got your... Uh, V button down here, your uh, uh, VFO memory channel. Exit AB. If you're if you're not in the menu, if you're in the menu, this button right here is exit. If you're in the main screen, then it switches back and forth between the two bands. FM will go to FM uh, stereo. That kind of thing. And of course, this button here is your function button, and that's your power button there. Power. Just like that, perfect. So the moment of truth, what we uh, what we really want to know about this sucker, and I think this is kind of neat, although at the same time I think it's kind of a waste. Uh, it's advertised to do 25 watts on uh, both bands, and it pretty much does that. Um, my meter here, this is an MFJ. Uh, 873, uh, 2 meter, 220, 440 meter to go up to 525 megahertz. Um, it's pretty accurate. Um, I've had it for a little bit less than a year and I've compared it to uh, not a bird meter but uh, some diamond meters that uh, friends have just to kind of compare the two and it's pretty, pretty spot on as far as the uh, accuracy goes. So we're going to go here um, into the menu we're going to go to the transmit power and it's currently set to low again two settings low and high you can't see it in the camera over there but down at the bottom left corner of your screen you've got an L and an H depending on like I said you can't see it there but right now we're on high power and then change it to low power puts an L at the bottom left corner of your screen. Anyway, so we're on, uh, we're going to go to two meters right now, and we're on high power on two meters, low power on 440. Let me change this. I'll go to low power on both. The radio seems to do the same output on both low and high power. It is, uh, there's no difference, at least not on my meter. It's key and right at 22 watts. I've got this set to the 200 mark dial here, so this uh, far far side of the of the dial is 200. Your 50 is about right there. You got little ticks but for 10, 20, 30, 40, and then 50, and then 100, 150, 200, and it's right above the second tick, which would be 20 watts. Uh, the second tick is 20 watts. Let's see if I can zoom in on that a bit. Right there, so. 
you're right about 22, maybe 23 watts, something like that. And that is two meters low power. It's starting to get a little bit warm. I've not had it keyed very long. We're going to go over here to high power, two meters. I'm going to key it again, and you can see we're still about 22 watts. We'll go over here to the other side of the radio. Low power 440, about 22 watts. Change that side to high power. We're still about 22 watts. So I'm keying up on uh, 146.52 uh, for the 2 meter. Uh, I'm into a dummy load right now. I don't have an antenna up. Um, but I'm keying enough 146.52 for uh, FM calling channel for 2 meters and 446.1, which is one of the common simplex uh, frequencies. Uh, let's try top of the band here. Four forty nine dot nine nine five. You're still about twenty two watts. Four twenty dot zero. Uh, drop down a little bit. It's about twenty watts at four twenty dot zero. Let's see two meters. One forty four. About 21 watts, probably. This is high power. 20, one, uh, 148.0. Uh, that's a little bit higher. It might be about 25 watts there. About 25 watts on uh, 148.0. So you're getting uh, 22, 20, 20 to 25 watts throughout both bands. Uh, not bad for a little dinky radio that's tiny. Not bad at all for that. Uh, I actually have a tape measure here. This radio is uh, about four inches long, deep, by about mm, three quarter, three and seven eighths, about three and three quarter inches wide. The LCD is about an inch and a half. Long and about a half an inch tall. I was about, I was right about that. So it's a pretty small radio, but again, if you've had, if you've seen the uh, Lyxon VV898, which is a 10 watt radio, um, this one's a little bit easier to use, in my opinion. The buttons seem a little bit more fluid. It's got knobs on it. The Lyxon has up down buttons for volume and it has uh, up-down buttons for channel changer. I like the knobs better to change your channels. Um, and especially for volume, I like the knobs better. Um, and the, the, the menu on the Lyxon is a little bit slower to respond, respond to these key touches. This one right here, it, it actually works, uh, it's pretty responsive to key touches. So um, I've, been, uh, I've only been tinkering with it for about 15 minutes before I started this video. So it, uh, it is getting warm also. Yeah, it's getting it's getting semi warm. It's such a small package for for keying twenty to twenty five watts. It's uh, it's pretty small. It's got a decent heat sink on it. Not great. It's no heat sink bottom down here. Let me zoom this back a bit. Here's the bottom of the radio, and here's the top of the radio. The top of the radio has a heat sink there. This is your speaker internal speaker. It does have a connection on the back for an external speaker. Unplug the power from it now. And it's got the standard uh, RJ45 uh, connector for the microphone. So, that is that radio. For 100 bucks. that's a heck of an investment. I, uh, I say pick one up if, you, uh, if you're interested. I haven't keyed it on the air yet. I haven't gotten any audio reports or anything like that. But uh, preliminary testing so far has been pretty positive. So that was the uh, June tie. JT 6188 radio. Let me grab this real quick. 
It does come, you know, for some reason, some of these menu, some of these Chinese manufacturers, they don't come with any instructions these days. Uh, this one actually comes with a sheet of paper, kind of like putting together a toy model. It's kind of what it reminds me of. It's uh, four sheets of paper, eight and a half by eleven size, all tied together. So it's actually like uh, eleven inches by eight and a half times four, which is 17, 34. So it's 34 inches by 11. But, and it doesn't say anything about the model number or anything like that on the instructions, but it does give clear instructions. Uh, shows you all your, all your menu functions there, what all the buttons on the face does. So, no computer programming. Um, I would assume that there's probably a cable you can get for the thing to go into the microphone port. Um, I, it's doubtful that uh, that Chirp would support this radio quite yet. Um, but they, the Chirp does support the Lyxen VV898 radio. So if this is based on the same radio, which other than the size of it, it's, it's not really reminding me of the Lyxen very much. I keep comparing it to the Lyxen. Because it's a dual band radio, uh, that's a compact dual band mobile. If you, I mean, it's it's a mobile radio. It's got an SO239 on the back of it. It's got a microphone on the on the front of it, and a place on the back of it for an external speaker. It's a mobile radio, but it's the size of I don't know. It's the size of basically like well, I measured it for you a minute ago. It's it's the uh, it's just little bit the form factor is just a little bit not counting the microphone and the and the antenna wire the form factor is just a little bit bigger than an HT so it's a good radio I mean I say it's a good it's a neat looking radio I'm glad I got it I'm looking forward to trying it and seeing what kind of audio reports I get on it so appreciate uh, appreciate you guys watching this video uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel I'm going to be putting up uh, more videos about more radios you got a radio that you want me to review Shoot me an email, uh, kc5hwb at grapevinehamradio.com, uh, or just comment on my one of my YouTube videos and say, "Hey, would you do this one?" Uh, I'd love to see uh, love to see some comments up there. Thanks, guys. Seventy-three. Have a good evening.